I swear this better be dipping dots. Welcome back everyone. The day's come. It's doing some weird snow flurry type thing. Yesterday we got about 35 hundredths of rain, which is the most rain we've gotten in a month and a half. So we're actually kind of happy for that. Just kind of recharge everything. Also the ground was like way too dry to be doing tillage. It wasn't getting much done. Our chisel wasn't getting in the ground. After chores here in a little bit, we're going to head out. We're going to try to do some chiseling and some tillage and we'll just see how it goes. Other than that, I had a couple cookies for breakfast, so I'm pretty ready for the day. Good morning. She's excited about the snow. That is some gross water, don't drink that. Ew, I guess the fresh water in the bowl by the house isn't good enough. Last video I was talking about a new air compressor. Here it is, we got 60 gallon. We, it's wired 220 volt. So uh, we had to move the location, put it close to an outlet like that. We're gonna hook the chisel back up. One thing we're gonna definitely be doing is getting our shiny equipment real muddy. Yep, up. Yep. Here's a little before shot. It isn't gonna look like that in about 10 minutes. The hydraulics are really cold. A couple days ago, we were hitting some of that stuff we chiseled. There were some giant clumps of solid dirt. I was bouncing all over like crazy, hitting my head on the top. That said, it maybe knocked some sense into me. I don't, I don't think that helped. What? Oh. I thought I hit you with a stick. Dad, we ain't done with harvest. Man, today ain't a good day to harvest either. Do you suppose we should have picked up the sticks first and then harvested instead of going around? And that darned old New York farm girl was here and she... She missed the end row. She didn't pick up the sticks. No sticks. Dang it, Claudia. Come on, Claudia, pick up the sticks. That thing's gnarly. Oh, he's getting that thing so plugged up with the weeds right now. And he picks up. We could, we could bail that stuff. That looks kind of dry. Once again, the goal here, break some clumps up. Oh, we're getting some mud on the tires. Get a little mud on the tires. Sorry, I'm bad at singing. We're hitting the slough, we're making it so all these weeds will break down faster here in the spring, so hopefully we can farm it. We're also making a little more surface area with those clumps, and so the sun and the air can get to it, dry it out. Dad, with that chisel, he's breaking through that hard pan, that tough, compacted layer. We might have some slippage going on in here. Yeah. I do a lot of spinning. Okay. That's some nice black stuff when it's wet. It ain't that Iowa and Minnesota ground by any means, but it can still look pretty fancy. to get dirty. Got some slippage going on. That is spinning out hard over here. Oof. Hey, you need some ibuprofen? Ibuprofen and some sunshine will cure him right up. It is starting to get real greasy. Ever go tubing on a lake? Check this out. beginning to 
look a lot like Christmas. He's just kind of showing up like that band kid at the party. Who invited him? I'm just kidding, guys. I was in band. Band kids rule. I played the trombone. Part of the boner squad. Not only was I a part of the boner squad, I was actually named the boner champ. It's a pretty, pretty highly regarded position. We're gonna need a quad track. Full bunny. The camera probably won't do it justice, but out in the distance, there's a Jeff. A Jeff Sonny out there fixing fence in the snow. The drive of that guy. Nothing can stop the Jeff. Oh man, he is losing traction. Dad's heading to the next one. That thing is flinging mud. Got some big slippage. So conditions are poor and we're running out of time this fall. So the other day I stopped at a business in Letcher. They were telling me, the husband and wife were in there, and they were telling me how much their little girls enjoy watching us on our YouTube channel. And the girls said how funny we are, and that reminded me of the story that one time a co worker at mom's work, not where she works now, but a different place, mentioned how funny she thought I was. And Tammy's reply was, Yeah, we just laugh all the time. I felt like there was a little bit of sarcasm in there. Oh, I believe it. <laughs> it's dry underneath, but the top is greasy. It's moist and it's greasy. It's like mud soup back there. It's greasy. That's one. We're gonna head home, make some lunch, and then I don't know what we're gonna do. I suppose I better try driving fast through the corn stalks, get some of the mud off before I go on the highway. Don't want to upset the city folk. Got a feeling there isn't much combining going on today. That's dirty. Two or C2. The twos are. Holy crap. Yeah. And everything else works just fine, and the twos are good. What's the bad news? I don't know. Yesterday, you went and got a haircut, and you bought some cookies. And I found them. Okay. Seems like it ain't shifting quite like it should. I don't know if I wrecked stuff or what. I got a wreck still. Yeah. What we think's wrong with it shouldn't get worse with use. Right? Yeah, I don't think so. And so uh, we we got tilled still left to do, and so we're gonna... I guess we'll find out in a few hours if I shouldn't have done that or not. I still got other gears, so... Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie wants more cookie. Oh. Oh. See? So it goes, just not in gear two. That's gonna be expensive. Gonna have to juice up the four wheel drive a little bit. We're getting low. I'm ripping up the yard driving in and out of here. Ma, I'm sorry. Must be hunting season. Hello. My brother, he didn't wish me happy birthday yesterday, so he's doing it today. Hello? Well, Dad's going. He says he's slipping like crazy, can't get anything done. We're pulling into some corn stalks. I got a couple sloughs to hit. And we're Hopefully he gets something done ahead of me so I'm not waiting again. That stuff looks rich. Don't get much darker than that. Kind of looks like fudge. Getting hungry again. Going right through the soup. Oh, Nelly. Full bunny. The 
dang trench is back. Oh! It's still bumpy. Looks like we missed some corn, Pa. Don't need to get the combine, though. I took care of it. You know what that was? City folk hunters getting in my way. And I think it's been a video or two since we mentioned the free tractor giveaway. I just got an email back from Pam and she said, let's do the auction. She was mentioning maybe donating the money to something. Dad and I will get that ready on the auction. We'll send out the link in case any of you wanted to buy it for some reason. I'll keep you posted. Dad is just out there spinning tires. Yeah, I'm sure he's in a bad mood. Something's wrong with the tranny. Getting about an acre done an hour. It's rough. So if we walk over here, you'll see why we're hitting these end rows. See in this spot, nothing even grew. It's just so compacted. That compaction's leading to some other issues. You know, a lot of denitrification and also the salts moving up with uh, through capillary action and it's just making alkalized soil spots and it's just not conducive for growing corn and soybeans like we want to. Oh, there he's got some traction. That ain't toilet paper stuck on there. I'm sure we're gonna get some comments like, obviously it's too muddy to be out here. We're trying to improve some of the lower producing areas. And I just mentioned why they're low producing because of that compaction and various other reasons. In like two weeks, our ground is gonna be frozen solid. So we're just trying to get this done while we can. We're not gonna be able to do it in the spring because we'll be trying to fertilize, plant, roll, till. And so this is kind of the only time we can do it. A lot of other farms, they do some really deep tillage and they do like the whole field. And we're just trying to hit some problem areas and we're hoping that we help it out a little bit. I was just about to hop out and go to the bathroom and I look up and a, a school bus is driving by. That was a close one. Now we're pulling into our biggest field. It's that 240 acre field. It goes around these trees. I think after this one, we have one more that we want to hit. And so we're getting somewhat close to done. When I was filling the tractor, we ran out of fuel in the fuel tank. So we're sitting around, actually just hopped up back to four bars. When I turn it and the fuel's moving, it goes down to one bar and it actually starts yelling at me that I need to like quit. I guess when it starts cutting out on me, I'll know that it's time to quit. It's about 5.30, we just got one field left and then we'll be done. Now here's some karma. I'm gonna put a bunch of mud on the road. My mom's gonna drive on this coming back from work. She's gonna put that mud in the garage and I'm gonna have to sweep it. Thanks. He was sitting in the tractor looking at me like this. He's getting sick of it. We're almost done, Daddy O. Almost done. Did I ever tell you about the time that Cole was in high school and he had a game camera set up over in that old building site by the deer stand and it was about Halloween. So I put an alien mask on and I put a Unabomber hoodie on and I went over there and did a funny little dance, kind of freaked him out a little bit when he saw it. That's how I roll. All clean. We're gonna have to get that tractor checked on. I call the guy. 
Yeah, what'd they say? Said it might be an oil leak on a sensor type thing leaking by. Well, that's, that sounds better than tranny going out. I well, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. I didn't time. have any drink with me all afternoon, so all I got to say is bush. Sounds like a personal problem. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. Wants to tell me something. What's that?